creyó que podía a esta chica impunemente, pero no contaba con que una webcam grabaría todo. Shocking. At one of Florida's most famous landmarks, the southernmost point buoy. Y que el héroe que llamó a la policía estaba a casi 3,000 kilómetros de distancia del lugar. Un hombre que trabajaba en Boston miraba tranquilamente una de las webcams más visitadas de Estados Unidos y el mundo. Sin embargo, lo que parecía ser solo pasatiempo para él, lo terminaría llevando a ser testigo de una terrible escena. Un sujeto empezó a a una mujer frente a la cámara, pensando en que saldría impune por lo que estaba haciendo. Pero claro, no tenía idea de que a más de 3.000 kilómetros estaba siendo observado por un hombre que denunciaría todo. Twice. The last time was right here at this very iconic landmark, which is very popular for tourists, all while that live webcam was streaming. And it turns out, you're looking at it live, that that video ended up being a very critical clue in getting that guy arrested. It looked like she was fighting. She fell flat on her face. A terrifying and brutal attack at one of the Keys' most iconic landmarks. Watch as this man has a woman in a headlock. She's resisting. He then shoves her behind the southernmost point marker in Key West, where prosecutors say he's... Minutes later, she stumbles and runs. He zips up his pants. Las imágenes eran horrendas. Pero si no fuera por este despachador que veía las cámaras desde Boston, quizás nunca hubiese habido justicia por este terrible crimen. According to the report, witnesses in Key West also call police after seeing a female crying and screaming. Officers meet up with her at a nearby hotel and later learn she was reportedly earlier in the night off Duval Street. The man identified as Carrie Calvin Gasag claims he stepped in to rescue her and drive her away. Instead, he drives her to the iconic buoy and terrorizes her again, even returning to tamper with evidence. Pero no sería hasta dos años después que finalmente Kerry Gassack sería declarado culpable de todos los cargos en su contra. Sin embargo, esta no ha sido la única ocasión en que una webcam deja al descubierto terribles como el ocurrido en la reconocida boya de Key West. Take a look at this surveillance video. In it, you can see a man following a 35-year-old woman down the street in Brooklyn. He eventually tackles her from behind and knocks her to the ground. It's sad that you can't walk anywhere and be comfortable enough to walk and not worry that someone's going to attack you. The assault is terrifying people who work in the area. Police say it happened on Monday evening, shortly after 8 o'clock, near the corner of Morgan Avenue and Stagg Street in East Williamsburg. It's believed the man reached inside the woman's shorts and grabbed her buttocks before running off. The suspect's face is visible for cameras to capture. He didn't care at all. It just goes to show you how brazen people can be. They just, they don't care. Police say the victim was not physically hurt and refused medical attention. Oh, definitely more now, especially when I leave to go home. Pero claro, estos momentos no siempre son registrados por cámaras de vigilancia, sino también por personas que toman sus celulares y deciden grabar todo apenas comienza a generarse una conmoción. What? That is crazy. And where were like the security? Walmart shoppers disturbed to find out a woman was battered at the same store where they just finished shopping along Northwest 79th Street. I don't even know what to say. I might have lost the words. Where's the protection? It's a shame. Because this is it's kids here that come here, families. Miami Dade officers arrested 28 year old Braden Harvey Sunday night. According to his arrest form, the victim was shopping when she was attacked. Police say he approached her from behind, pulled her dress up, and then pushed her to the ground and assaulted her. Two witnesses saw what was happening and pulled Harvey off of the woman. Freedom Harvey. Harvey was in bond court Monday. The judge notably unsettled. This is pretty disturbing. While mentioning that Harvey was already on probation when this happened. No contact with the victim either directly, indirectly, in person, in writing. That's really unsafe. Like, I would come into a Walmart to grocery shop and just for somebody to come up to me, not thinking that somebody's going to come up to me, you know, touching me. 
it's just scary as a female too. Lo cierto es que estos elementos que tanto nos ayudan para guardar hermosos momentos también se han convertido en el mejor aliado de todos para capturar a estas horribles personas que están dispuestos a todo para saciar sus miserables intenciones. According to the report, witnesses in Key West also called police after seeing a female crying and screaming. Officers meet up with her at a nearby hotel and later learn she was reportedly earlier in the night off Duval Street. The man identified as Carrie Calvin Gasag claims he stepped in to rescue her and drive her away. Instead, he drives her to the iconic buoy and terrorizes her again, even returning to tamper with evidence.